On a school field trip, students from Roberto Clemente Middle School traveled to Harpers Ferry to study the geology and Civil War history that is present there. One interesting thing about Harpers Ferry is that the Appalachian Trail passes through the town. On June 3, 1859, John Brown led 21 men in a raid on the Federal Arsenal that was present in the town. He hoped that slaves would rise up and fight for their freedom once they heard what he had done. He had prepared thousands of pikes for the slaves to fight with. Unfortunately, 36 hours after the raid had started, 90 Marines breached the building that Brown and his men were in, and John Brown was captured. He was later executed for murder, treason, and insurrection. Another reason we went to Harper's Ferry was to study the geology. We learned about three types of rocks. The first of which was igneous, which is formed by magma or lava cooling. The second of which was metamorphic, which is formed by other types of rocks being exposed to extreme heat and pressure. The third type is a little bit more complicated. It is known as sedimentary. The first step is for tiny pieces of other types of rocks to erode away. Then the little pieces of eroded rock are deposited on the bottom of a large body of water or in a desert. Then, eventually, enough little pieces of eroded rock build up and the pressure compacts them into a solid piece of stone. We also learned about destructive forces. What you've got is a continual example, though, of weathering and erosion. Look at how those have broken down. Look at the third one out. You can see how it's been broken down by erosion and weathering after even just a few hundreds of years. I think uh, we're so, the bridge was built somewhere around 150 years ago. And with it gone, even the rocks themselves, you can see how they have been weathered and been broken down by rain and snow, frost action, every time little bits of cracks that get put in there by those trees, breaking it down smaller and smaller. The same thing's been going on with these mountains. The last thing we learned about was plate movement. We were able to observe a fault line. Starting right here. Oh my gosh. Oh, that's okay. What do you see? There's a line. That line was here after these steps were put in. An earthquake took place. Although they don't, they don't happen all the time. They still happen occasionally. There's still some movement in the crust here. Right there, you can see a line where the ground has moved one way and the other side has moved the other. They've shifted. It cracked and broke the line, causing a fault line. This is what we call a fault line. It's small, so technically it's called a microfault. Like microscope means look at something small, this is called a micro fault. It's where a break, a small break in the lot in the land has shifted all of it and even actually cracked the whole ground itself. We also learned that the mountains surrounding Harper's Ferry were formed by two plates hitting each other. In conclusion, Harper's Ferry is a very interesting place and definitely a worthwhile field trip.